So about one month ago from today, I made the first ever video of Low Bollington SOS Flare, where I made a total of 193 million coins. And then I uploaded episode 2 of this series, where I made 470 million coins. And then episode 3, where I made 874 million coins in only 4 hours. But here we are in episode 4, and I have finally obtained the SOS Flare, which is arguably one of the most expensive items in all of Skyblock. But believe it or not, this series actually took a long time to make, so I'd appreciate it if you went down there and pressed that red subscribe button. And while you're down there, make sure to like that smash button as well. But with that said, let's get right into the video. Okay, so there's actually a thing that I need to change about the series that I forgot to do in the beginning. Because whenever I started this series and I looked at the lowest bin for SOS flares, it went for about 4.2 billion coins, which I now realize is not the case. Because if we look in Skycuffle, most of these SOS flares that sell are usually sold for 3.8 billion coins. So instead of having to get around 3.2 billion coins in profit during this entire series, I need to gain around 2.8 billion coins instead. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the low bowling montage. To start off this video, I managed to lowball this Necron set for a 12 million coin flip. And then I managed to lowball this level 100 true e drag with a Shelmet for a 40 million coin flip. I lowball this Clean Spirit Scepter for a 4 million coin flip. I got this level 100 Epic Tiger Pet with a Shelmet for a 3 million coin flip. I got this Recombed Enriched Ender Relic for 10 million coins in profit. And then I was very fortunate to be able to lowball this tank set for dungeons for a 10 million coin flip. And after lowballing the tank set, I made some questionable financial decisions and lowballed these 5 level 100 legendary lions for 55 million coins each. But then you may also wonder why I bought those legendary lions. Because if we go to Skycuffle, we can see that the average price is about 55 million coins for a level 100 legendary lion pet. But the auction says otherwise, showing that it's about 58 million coins lowest bin. But at the time when I lowballed the lions, they were actually market manipulated. To the point where there were only 2 legendary lions on the auction house, selling for about 125 mil lowest bin. Therefore, if I managed to sell every single lion that I had, I would get around 70 million coins profit for each one. But because it was market manipulated, of course the legendary lions wouldn't sell if I listed it on the auction house. Therefore, I thought of another way to be able to sell my lions for an extreme amount of profit, and that was to go to other lowballers. But turns out that the strategy that I thought of actually worked, and I managed to sell one lion for 110 million coins. I sold two more lions to another person for a total of 130 million coins. Then I sold another one for 89 million coins, and I think I listed the other one for 65 million coins on the auction house, and it basically insta-sold. And from all of the lions combined, I managed to get around 107 million coins in profit. But do I feel bad for abusing a market manipulation and basically scamming other lowballers? Anyways... But after selling all of the lions, somebody actually came in with a Daedalus Axe and tried to scam me. He first puts a Daedalus Axe with Perfect Jaspers in it, but then when you agree to a price and trade him again, he puts a similar Daedalus Axe but with Perfect Amethyst instead. And if you didn't know, Perfect Amethyst is actually significantly cheaper than Perfect Jaspers. So whenever somebody offers you a Daedalus Axe with Perfect Jaspers, just be aware that it might be a scam. And then I lowball this Recombed 25 mil Midas for a 20 million coin flip. I got this legendary ultimate wise 5 5 star Yeti sword for a 7 million coin flip. Then I managed to lowball yet another modest staff for only 8 million coins in profit. I got my hands on a pair of Recom the last than 5 G6P6 Golder boots for only a 3 million coin flip. Chimera 5 and looting 5, Daedalus Axe. Oh my god, I just got that. Oh my god. <laughs> I bought it for 1.615 bill, and lowest bin for only Chimera 5 is 1.8. That is huge. Okay, so I'm about to get a pretty good low ball, so I'm just gonna collect all of these. So these are the items that sold, and I have 1.1 billion coins in my purse. I'm gonna trade this guy. Offer 841 mil for a full set of Devon armor, of course. Gemstone slots unlocked, and also the 655. With Gemstone fuel tank, Amber Polish Rail Engine, Sunnyside Golden Egg, Efficiency 10 as well, which is extremely nice. But yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I managed to buy this Ruby Polish Drill Engine for a 13 million coin flip. I got this Hypermax Jaded Devon Helmet for a 10 million coin flip. 
I bought the Soul Leader 5 Overlord 5 8 star Terminator for a 25 million coin flip. And right here, I managed to lowball 5 liver daggers for a total of 10 million coins in profit. And then I managed to get my hands on a pair of wither goggles for about a 2 million coin flip. And then I actually got offered a great spook necklace with edition 715 for only 2 million coins. Now I don't know the actual value of this necklace, so if anybody does, please tell me in the comments. I lowballed 2 level 1 epic ender dragons for 45 million coins in profit. I lowballed a blue cheese goblin omelet for 10% or 20 million coins in profit. I got my hands on a judgment cord that basically insta sold for a 14 million coin flip. I lowballed this recombed ender artifact for about a 19 million coin flip. I lowballed all of these items for 8 million coins in profit. I'm currently at a 1.3 billion coin purse, and if we take a look at my auction house, I have about 34 million coins to claim, but I have a Hocus Pocus Cypher, I have an Ice Spray Wand, and a Wither Impact Hyperion. So I am extremely close to the SOS Flare. If we go ahead and look in the auction house, we can see that there is only one up for 4 billion coins, but I've seen some of them on the auction house for about 3.8 bill, so that's probably where I'm gonna aim for. And after that, I of course lowballed some more and got a lot of profit. Then I lowballed some more and got this level 200 golden dragon for a 65 million coin flip. And I collected my auction house. How much are flares going for right now? Uh, right now it's for 4 bill, but it's because Aspect of the Steve has monopoly over the price. He's the only one that has it listed. But normally I'd say like the, the average price for an SS for is about 3.8 bill. And let me see if I have enough for that. So I have like 1.7 billion coins in my purse and then 2 po Oh, wait. Okay, so if everything sells, I have exactly 3.8 bill. So technically, I have lowballed to an SS flare now. But of course, me technically having an SS flare wasn't enough because for me to actually complete the series, I needed to have one in my inventory. Therefore, during the meantime that I was waiting for somebody to list another SS flare on the auction house, I kept on lowballing and got an additional 100 million coins in profit. But one day when I was bored and hit the go live button, the unexpected happened. Yeah, if we go into the auction house, as of what I saw- Oh, <gasps> oh my god, wait, hold on. Yo, now there's another one for 3.8 bill. <laughs> Bro, nah, 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 I, I'm buying this one. I'm buying this one. Oh my god, wait, this is huge. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god. But of course, as a normal person, I just couldn't let the SS flare be clean and epic. It just looks disgusting. Therefore, I bought every single mana disintegrator necessary, put every single modifier on the SS flare, and here is the final product. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay, so now that we have finally obtained the SOS Flare, I think it's necessary to do a damage test. So I'm currently in full Aurora with my pretty mid Hyperion. I got the Bizarre Reforge and also every single tuning point in Intelligence. And if we go into the graveyard and right click a zombie that is alone, for example this guy, we deal about 1.3 million damage. But then when we use the SOS Flare... Wait, wait, what? Well, it's fine, right? I've been doing a lot of Blaze Slayer. I should be close to Blaze Slayer 7. 